one of the breakouts of COVID entertainment wise on social media has been Emmanuel Acho and his uncomfortable conversations with a black man on social. They've garnered about 60 million views. And he's talking to everyone from Matthew McConaughey to Chip and Joanna Gaines to our own Rachel Lindsay. I had to say, you know what? My journey of love can't be any different just because the color of my skin is. Emmanuel, can you believe how this took hold in this moment? Uh, honestly, not at all. The unfortunate part of it all is that this moment has to exist. We are still facing racial tension, racial inequality, police brutality. And now I've just been like, what role can I play in this world? All right, you got a two-parter with Roger Goodell, the NFL commissioner. Wow. Now, that's a big get, given football is coming, and also given that when Colin Kaepernick first started kneeling at the national anthem, he didn't act fast enough, in his own words, right, to support Colin. If you were to publicly express your remorse, apologize to Kaepernick, what would you say? The first thing I'd say is I wish we had listened earlier. Are you satisfied with your conversation with Goodell? The reason that I am content with my conversation with Roger Goodell is because Roger Goodell was willing to have a conversation. Roger Goodell has very little to gain, and he had a whole lot to lose by sitting down with me. The reason I say that is because we live in a cancel culture. As soon as you make one mistake, people want to write you off and dismiss you forever. So while Roger Goodell may have an opinion, after he acquires new information, I would hope that he changes his opinion like anyone else in this world. Is there racism within the black community? It's a good question. Um, for racism to exist, uh, I, I say that there are three necessary components. You need power, you need privilege, and you need prejudice. And so while there may be stereotypical thoughts, black people, generally speaking, cannot oppress white people in America, generally speaking, um, because black people la lack the power to do so. You've got a two book deal with Oprah. A book coming out, a two parter, but in comfortable conversations with the black man, the book comes out November 10th because I want really to take this message further. Uh, this isn't just about a moment. This is about listening, learning, and choosing to love. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.